we have evolved and something that we can use is this one this is what has made us evolved this uh, Givenchy powder I'm gonna put a little bit more of this um, moisturizer, although I already put some prior, but I'm gonna put just a little bit more over around my eyes and my cheeks, which is my most uh, driest area. So um, I'm going to first apply the Refi, this product right here. So, um, let me see so this is called face primer glow and skull base the tint 40 milligrams so keep lid on after use Hear me? it sounds liquidy I'm just gonna shake it just in case that helps. I mean, this could usually never. Oh, what? Okay, so I just opened it. What? Are you supposed to? Oh, okay. Okay, so just pull it up. And I'm gonna roll this until I see it wet or something. Or maybe it's this way. I don't see any liquid. Okay, I'm gonna roll it here. Am I supposed to? Okay, now something came out. This is what I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, you guys can see it. Okay, I couldn't see it because of my glasses. Okay, so I am going to roll this. Um, I'm gonna apply just about everything that. Uh, I think her name is Jess, Jess, Jess Hunt, that she applies to her um, face. Oh, so I don't feel it coming out much. It just feels like, um, like a serum, but it's very light, almost like water. Oh, it's a, it's more serum-y. It's a very light serum. But am I supposed, okay. Okay, I'm squeezing it. Okay, that, more of it came out. Okay, now, it's, um. And this is supposed to, I'm like, I mean, she doesn't use a, foundation she just puts this on and and then the bronzer which is what I'm gonna do so I picked up the sand bronzer that I spoke about in my previous video where I did a refi review and the more I try these products the more I feel like I want to try what's next and okay so i think i got this all over my face now okay now i don't know if i'm supposed to wait but um so this is the new one this is in the color sand and i picked this up and this is what she puts all over her face and that's what i'm gonna do um from my previous video is the color tan and this is what she uses to bronze and this is like an all over kind of thing so that's what I'm gonna do today and I'm gonna use my favorite uh, blush that I've tried so far and, oh and um, the highlighter so this is pretty much and I have the, the brush so this is pretty much everything that she uses um, in her tutorial Okay, I don't know. I'm not like this just looks like a moisturizing serum. Um, okay, now we're gonna go in with 
her brush and it looks like she uses the color sand to as a foundation kind of thing so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just uh, making sure there's nothing on my brush okay there we go so that's our brush okay so I'm gonna go in with the color okay I'm gonna um swatch these okay so now that I've had this one for a few days it feel when I swatched it it feels a little okay so this one feels more emollient more creamy than this one so I'm thinking it's because it's been open it's been used so then it does get a bit more thicker I guess once you open it um, that's what I'm experiencing with this when I swatched it compared to the one that I just opened. So just to let you know that this product might not be as emollient or as liquidy as like the first time it may be, but then when you when it's open, you've used it, it might not be. That's what I'm experiencing right now, which is a good thing because um, then it's just like a little more coverage. I guess okay so I'm going to swatch them there we go the light one is sand and then the other one is tan now all over the face which is what she does okay that's like very orangey I like orangey, but I don't think I want this much orange all over my face. So this is supposed to be a very light, like that um, healthy girl look, I guess. I do like this brush. A little bit more here. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Okay. Um, now I'm gonna go in with concealer and I'm gonna use the Huda. been very really, really curious about this brand like the products that she's using it I did see it when it first came out but I, I was not feeling that clean look aesthetic I guess um, at that time and or maybe I was just um, entertained by other products when this first came out but I saw somebody using the tan shade uh, bronzer and I really liked it and so I started with that which is what my first video was about and then I really liked this blush and the tan color and then I'm like wait a minute and then I went to see her review her um her tutorial her on her um Instagram and I was I got I got pretty interested in it <laughs> so here we are <laughs> um I keep up ordering but I think I'm done now <laughs> like I think I'm I've I've I'm trying I've tried or after this video I've tried everything that she currently has out that interests me so Hopefully, um, that's it. But like, like, you know, I I got also because it's winter here, and 
in Canada. Oh, okay. I should always tell you this. I was told to always tell you what my skin is. Okay, so my skin is combination. In the winter, it's super dry. Like right now, it's winter. So that's why I use this uh, um, Advanced Daily Peptide Moisturize. And this is from Amazon. I talked about it in my last video. And um, I will link it below as well because this thing is... You, it's a must for winter like I just love how my face feels more normal Mo very moisturized like it doesn't feel as dry as the winter makes my skin feel so for me it's a must okay so uh, I'm gonna um you know what okay so I got this um this is a Mac um setting powder and i heard th this is really good so i walked in there and i got a tester and i want to try it now because <laughs> i've had this tester for a little bit let me see if so this is a translucent i'm not really liking it like my um, Givenchy um, setting powder is amazing, and this does not compare. I don't remember why I picked this up. I saw it somewhere, and I thought, you know what, let me test that. And so, but like, I did not want to buy the whole thing. I just wanted to... Um, tested so I asked for a tester and I have not tested in a while so um today is the day so it's translucent it doesn't change anything it doesn't add any uh color um it just mattifies it but I'm not I'm not thrilled with it the Mac um setting thing setting powder i will not be purchasing a full uh size because i do not like it okay now i'm gonna go in with okay so let me see this so now the foundation that i put on i actually like it it does look like a foundation it looks like a very tan foundation okay I do like it I would use this as a as a foundation the only thing is that um, for a foundation this is very little product let's see how much they put in here okay so 0 0.29 ounces that is way less than what we get on a foundation which is 30 wait which is um one ounce okay so um to i have the color um in terms of the found the uh, cream blush i have the color malaya and i do not like this one like i mentioned in my previous video but if you want to see what malaya looks like on me you can go and see the previous video um maybe i'll link it to this video um at the end of this video you'll um i'll attach it there so you could just click on it and you'll see that that other one but my favorite one is this one so this is my second time using it and the first time i was just in love with it because it's so different okay um actually yeah i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna do this one first because um I want to see it again. Okay, so that's the color. Look at look at the color. Like this is what I love about it. It's like a coral, very bright, bright coral. So that is me just 
putting it on really intensely. I'm gonna bring it all the way here. And then I'm gonna let it dry. We're just gonna let it let it be there and see how and then once in a few minutes I'm gonna like spread it out. Okay, um now I'm gonna put on the I really like this brush. Like this blush, it really like brightens my skin, I believe. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the um oh contour. I'm gonna stay more concentrated with this. So the color tan. I love this brush, by the way, the Patrick Ta um, bronzer brush. It is so good. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in here. All my jewelry is from Amazon. If you are curious, um, I'll link it in the bottom in the description box. These earrings, I wore them out the other day, and this girl said, oh, are those the Chanel earrings? And I was like, uh, no, they're not. <laughs> I was so shocked because she asked me that. I do like them, though. They're like your everyday earrings. They've got, like, diamond sparkle. Obviously not diamond, but, like, what do they call it, crystals? Here, and then... That round thing has them as well. And then you have, I love pearls. So anything with pearls that is cute, I am into it. Okay, so set as well. Okay, we're going to let that set. Let it dry. And okay, so um, for eyes, I'm going to, so I feel like just letting my letting these products set because um they are so creamy that i feel that if i blend them right now they're they're just gonna like i have to be very careful not to remove them so instead of being having to be super careful i'm just gonna let it dry a little bit and then see how it goes now um so all i have on my eyes is uh concealer and the setting setting uh, powder now i'm going to go in with the natasha denona i know i'm looking a little crazy right now okay but it's intentional it's it, it's a process we're getting there okay so um anastasia just released a new palette the love palette the love face palette which i am intrigued about um i noticed that it has um this color right here like a like a peachy color and something like this so and maybe something like this so i'm gonna try these three colors on right now um so we're going for that orangey look okay so i'm gonna start with this one this is like a pinky um orangey looks like in the pan but let, oh yeah okay it's going in right with that with the whole look i love it okay we're going with a peachy orange tone right now which i love for this time of year because it's winter and i just love that brightness you know okay so and after at my next video after this i'm going to do a pink look because as i mentioned i am intrigued by the new natasha denona um uh fate love face palette and i am wondering if i should get it or not and to to see if i need it or if i already have it in my collection i'm going to do a look and see if 
determine if I if I want to. Um, I love it though. Like the whole concept of the face palette, I love it. Like I mentioned in my last video, I love the um her other one, which is the face palette that it's like a more of a brownie, brownish uh tone, and this one is a pink one. I love the blush it looks pink but i do have a palette of natasha denona the big palette that she had um and it's pink and, and the colors are so nice it just has um cream blushes and cream highlighters oh and i still have that rough eye um highlighter that i will be putting on so um the natasha palette i love the concept I am so in love. So I'm really packing this on because I might not put too much of the other two. Oh, isn't that pretty? I love that. I love the, how that looked. Okay. Now we're going to go into more of the upper size. Now I'm gonna do the dark one. And this does look like the one Natasha has in her new palette. It's just that eggplant. Yeah, that's what this looks like as well. So if you have this palette, you already have two for sure, maybe, uh colors. I might have to pull this. I'm thinking like to do my um to decide if I need the um the love palette or not. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. Staying close to the lash line and then extending on the outside, kind of like a like a wing. Or like um, an eyeliner. This is the Huda Beauty brush. I believe this is an older collection. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's an older collection because I got it on sale on her website for um, the holidays. Three for eight dollars. I cannot believe it. I this brush and just um blend it in. This is a nice easy color. Just bringing up the um the darker shade up, but not applying the the dark shade directly, but just bringing it up, like sweeping it up. Here we go darling now um i'm gonna go oh my god this looks so much like the one okay i'm gonna swatch them swatch all the ones that i believe look like what's in the in the new palette Okay, this one might be more brownish than the eggplant that um, is in it, but in on the eyes, it looks very similar. Like, I prefer this color than the eggplant because I already have the eggplant color in um, Pat McGrath's uh, palette. So I do not want repeats, especially in that color because I don't really like it. I don't really like eggplant color. I mean, it's okay, but I think, like, if I have it once, I don't need it again. But I think that this looks so much like it. So this is the Viva palette. Sorry if I forgot to mention. Um, but this is the Mini Viva, which I thought was essential to have in my collection because the Viva uh, full size is super popular. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's... I think that's good. 
I'm gonna bring down the darker color but in my next um, video that I'm gonna <laughs> try to determine if I actually need the new Natasha uh, love palette I am going to do a pink look the blush is gonna be pink like bright pink like to match that one and the eyes of course is all gonna be pink but here I'm going more for that um, for like this color that orangey color and then see this you can use it the same way as a dark one in that palette because it is very very similar like on the eyes it looks similar I can't I'm looking at it on the mirror and it just looks like an eggplant brown so this uh, would suffice as a replacement for that eggplant color If you were eyeing that and you have this or I believe I might use my um her new palette the uh, dream palette I'm gonna see if I can use get that palette to do some pinks I can't remember it right now if, if um, there is some but otherwise maybe a Pat McGrath um, because you know how many pinks she has right and that's a palette that if we have it we want to use it up this is looking very nice this is a I guarantee that this is a look that you can get from that love palette for sure 100% so what we're missing here is just the pink colors so if we have pink somewhere else we'll be fine <laughs> we can like tell ourselves we don't need it we don't need that new palette although it's beautiful but or at least not now and maybe when there's a sale blend in all the colors that i have and i'm just gonna i'm gonna since i'm gonna use the same brush so um i've spoken about this these um makeup cleaners um they're from amazon and because you know i only shop at amazon because they deliver right to my door go anywhere to shop I prefer to um, have things delivered than to carry all those things home, you know? Okay, because I'm sure I'm, uh, Walmart has these now and they're probably like the same price as Amazon. I'll link them below. So, um, darling, this, if you don't have this, <laughs> I just thought of something, but I don't know if I want to say it what are you doing with your life because <laughs> this is reusable you wash it and like don't use paper towels please it's bad for the environment and second you're wasting money you know like stop with the paper towel i have no paper towels at home um and because everything is reusable just wash it and they'll be good just like we wash our hair <laughs> okay so now I'm gonna blend this blend the um the bronzer first now I have so much bronzer on my my head my forehead and I don't need that because my forehead is does not need to be shined. Okay. Now we're gonna go in here with look at that darling. Cute. It's like a nice brightening color. Very nice. Okay, now we're gonna do so we're done with the refi stuff. Okay, let's put on this. Now this one I did try it the other day, but I'm still curious because it looked so nice. Um, because um, uh, Rare Beauty has this nice new um 
highlighter that I've been intrigued about because I've seen so many good reviews on it. But then I'm like, wait, is this one better? Because, like, okay, I have other um, um, highlighters that are powder or creamy powder, but I don't have anything like this. So I'm like, I want something different. And the, the, um, the little highlighter, the new one from um, Rare Beauty, is so cute. It's like that little pot. It's so cute. Um, I love the packaging. And I think that's half of the curiosity that I have. I know Jess put some of this in here. Okay, so there's that. in there now I'm gonna do my my nose after and now I'm gonna do the okay I'm gonna do my lips <laughs> I will do um, maybe something similar than of what um, Jess does so this is the first lip liner and this is in the color uh, Toulouse, and this is like a mauvey color. So that's what that looks like. And then, and then I'm gonna use this. This okay. I'm gonna put um. So this is um Sephora lip tint in the color. 98 and then i'm gonna mix this other one uh number 69 of sephora and i'm gonna show you all of these colors so that you can see there they are so the first one is the lip liner toulouse and then we have the and then we have the two um lip stains okay so still looking a little orange in here but don't worry we'll um we'll see how this goes now okay i need to get my this so this is toulouse Um, because I put on my lips, my, um, one and only lip rubberizer. All of this stuff is going to be linked in the description box. So, um, that's what I put, I always put before my videos, I put this on. So if I wanted to, I could just um, put this lip liner all over and then use it as a, a lipstick as well because my lips are so moisturized that I'm able to spread the lip liner. So I've been really in the mood of filming right now. I think it's because I have so many spots that I can film. And that was the goal. Like, I've been wanting to film for so long. And, and like, I, I think I mentioned in my other video that I, I just needed places where I could just sit down and everything was easy and just film, you know? I think this is number 69. I really love this one. This, I'm gonna get a neck again. I'm gonna get another one at the next sale. Okay, so I mixed Toulouse by NYX 69 lip tint. I think this is pretty nice. Like it kind of comes out 
from the rest of the stuff, but it, it marries the eyeshadow with this because this has a bit of pink but orangey and this is orange so that worked out and I am going to um I want to put a little more concealer because I don't like how things turned out with with that setting spray okay I'm going to move this a little bit here there we go tone it down a little bit and over here I think it's too much as well I don't have much uh, uh, bronzer on my face so I think I'm gonna do a little bit more of that yeah okay so here is 10 when it's winter and we're in a dead of winter as we are right now i just my mind just goes into do pinks do like i feel like those miami trends makeup looks and all that vibe that tropical miami summer vibes are just on my mind and i just i like i'm attracted to oranges and pinks and i do that until spring summer comes um and then when it's when it's fall i just want browns and blacks <laughs> but for right now darling you'll probably be seeing a lot of um tropical vacation um miami vibes on my channel I think I need a nice lip liner here. Maybe this will help. I don't know. Because I don't have anything darker. A little bit. Blue is being so good. She's sleeping right here. There we go, darling. And I want to keep the lips a little more uh, matte because the rest of my face is so glowy. Okay, so now mascara. Okay, let me get a... Oh my God, this I can't see. And I recently broke my... Ooh, ooh this is orangey. Oh my god okay now i see why jess loves this vibe why she does the tan all over because you get you don't need a tan like a face tan with this you just put this on and it gives it to you you're that golden barbie tan uh california barbie that is the vibe that i get into when it's winter that um golden hair i want to change my hair color darling if you are enjoying this video hit the like button comment let me know what you think of these products i was um interested in eyelashes that were just like the outer half because since i've started using those um i'm like let me go check what amazon has so i found this and this is what I'm going to put on right now. Um, but when I received it, they are a little bit on the natural side. And I was expecting more dramatic. <laughs> so, oh, you know what? Okay, it's okay. I'm just going to use it. Okay. And what I liked about this is that it's a clear band. It's a very thin, clear band. But the issue is that they are too natural for me. They kind of look like my lashes. Like I'm not wearing anything. But I decided to show you because in case you do like that less dramatic. Like you want like an everyday. You want something more 
polished, more underrated, you know, um, you can go for this. There it is. Okay, so these lashes are perfect for those of those girls who are young ladies, beautiful young ladies of all ages. If they are like nurses or any type of, of jobs that don't usually you usually don't see girl or ladies wearing a lot of makeup or, or like dramatic makeup but you you're that kind of girl you know that you do want to look cute you want to look cute so you can feel nice these lashes are good for that i will link them in the bottom in the description but look this is how it looks like it looks very natural but then when you when you turn You can see it. Okay, I have to drag this down because it is super tan. Oh my god, I can't believe Jess. Um, Jess Hunt wears this makeup. It is super glowy. It's Barbie glowy. You know what I'm going to do also? Um, I will just brighten some stuff out right now. Um with my concealer because I love that tint but it's a little too much so I'm just going to clean this up a little bit Yeah, so I don't recommend that MAC setting powder because it just doesn't look good. You know? Like it's so old, like it's so several seasons ago. <laughs> we have evolved and something that we can use is this one this is what has made us evolved this Givenchy powder The sponge comes with it. Just roll it. There we go. Much better. Like it's this isn't the number two. I'll tell you in a second. The only thing is that it's a little bit tricky to close. Thank you for joining me today, darling. I hope you you enjoyed uh, watching me put this together. And I hope you try it for yourself. Let me know if you have these products and how they work out for you. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you again soon. Let's continue the conversation in the, dis in the, dis in the comment section. <laughs> the description box will have a link to all of the items that I'm wearing today. Um, oh, even my nail polish. Yeah, I will. It's from Amazon. 
and so is everything else. Um, my jewelry, earrings, earring, um, earrings and rings, Amazon. Links in the description box. Even my hair, my ponytail from Amazon. My robe, Amazon. I love Amazon. I don't shop. I don't go to Walmart. I don't go to other places no more because Amazon delivers right to my door and it's more effective um, living for me. <laughs> Uh, if you enjoy that, if you have, I have Amazon Prime, so, and it's well, I've had it for several years now, and it's well worth it. 